You have come forth from your non-physical perspective into what we see as the most dynamic and perfect of environments anywhere. You have come forth into the leading edge of thought. And you did not choose it lightly. You chose it deliberately and powerfully with all of the defining power that you as a source energy being have. And you said, I will go forth into this magnificent physical time space reality of great variety and diversity. For I know within it, I will find so much that I can turn my undivided, meaning my source energy attention to. You said, I know the beauty of this place. And in this place of diversity, the beauty that I'm speaking of is not only the stuff that I think I want, that I would like my nest to be feathered with, but it is the stuff that I don't want that helps me to more explicitly define what I do want. I know that I'm a creator and that I need an environment, a palette of paint, if you will, from which to paint. I know that I need an environment that helps me to focus my mind and choose. And I've chosen in this time, in this body, under these circumstances, this time-space reality, because I knew then and I know now that it will evoke within me clear desire and that the larger part of me has now, even now, even now, even now, there it is again, there it is again, become it. I understand here in my physical body, you say, that my work, my only work, is to come into alignment with that expanded being that I am. And when I do, the look of this place is almost beyond verbal description. As I walk amongst the people, I see the variety of who they are, and I see the power and cleverness of who they are, and I see even more that which they are becoming. And so in the war and in the confusion and in the argument, I see not just improvement, I see a new world erupting because I see the expanded version of life as a result of mass consciousness's individual focusing in its individual perspective. I stand in my physical body, you say, and I'm living my life as broadly as I can. And I'm squabbling about salt and I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. But I am defining who I am by reaching for source energy's perspective relative to each thing that I live. And as I allow myself to come into concert with that which is source, as I live the details of my day-to-day -day life experience, I let myself in on the benefit of all of those generations that have gone before. And most important, I let myself in on the benefit of that which I've created right here, right now, in this body, in this physical time-space reality. As we watch you from our non-physical vantage point, the appreciation we feel for that which you are cannot be accurately spoken in words. But we want you to know as clearly as Esther can find the words for us to express to you. We want you to know that everything that you are living is causing an expansion of that which you are and therefore an expansion of that which we are. And we revel in that expansion. We never for a moment mourn you're not coming along with us. We never for a moment, frankly, even notice that you haven't come along. We do not look back and wonder if you're there. We only look in our undivided fashion at that which you have carved out because we know that as we look at that which you have become and hold a steady gaze upon it and offer a vibration only about that, that if you're listening carefully enough, you will catch the call of source and you will begin moving in the direction of it. And maybe some of you will move closer in the direction of it today and maybe some of you will not move there until you croak and come all along. But every single one of you without exception will come along with that which you, we, you, we have created. And in all of that, is joyful, joyful expansion. You did not come into these bodies to have growth. You came into these bodies because growth was inevitable and you wanted to enjoy that growth. The basis of your life is freedom. You did not come to make something happen. You came forth because you knew the happening would be inevitable and you knew you would enjoy the leading edge perspective of it. Nothing is broken in your world. Nothing needs to be changed. Nothing needs to be different. And yet everything is, is constantly changing because it is the inevitable nature of that which is eternal. 
So as you decide to go with the flow of your eternal nature, and as you stop nitpicking about the way in which you go, and you just understand that you cannot help but go, and you stop comparing yourself to the way others are going, and you stop criticizing them because they're not doing it right, or criticizing you because you're not doing it right, and instead you see yourselves all as adding to the contrast that is adding to the expansion, in time, you will find yourselves as we find ourselves in love with each and every one of you. And when you love others as we love you, you're going to remember what source is because you will be it. There is great love here for you. And for now, we remain eternally incomplete.